What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Cars, Cost, and Technology. So typically, I don't make videos during the work week. It's just too much to keep up with, but I had to update you guys real quick on what is going on in the Corvette world. And most of you have already heard that the pricing on the ZR1 has been officially released. We're looking at just under $120,000 for the coupe variant, around $123,000 for the convertible variant. Uh, the ZTK performance package is going to be coming in at just under $3,000, so pretty good value there when you consider everything you're getting. A lot of people took this information. You know, some were excited, some were upset. You know, I think personally that that that's right about where the price point should have been. You know, I don't think it's necessarily an insane bargain, but I also don't think it's grossly overpriced. You know, I feel like that's where it should have landed, especially when you consider the starting MSRP on the C6 ZR1 and you consider inflation, you know, $120,000 is right where it should have really been. Uh, so, you know, that that's some news that broke. You know, hopefully you guys have already seen that. And, um, you know, I'd love to have more discussion about that in the comments section. I posted something on Instagram yesterday talking about that. And uh, some people, you know, again, mixed reviews. Some people think it's a great deal. Some people are, a little upset about that price point, especially when you compare it to the Z06's eighty thousand dollars starting MSRP. Kind of hard to justify, but you know when you consider that the fact that the ZR1 comes with carbon ceramic brake standard, it comes with the base aero kit is better than the aero kit on a uh, the Z07 package Z06. So you know when you, when you consider that type of information, it becomes a little more comparable. And also, it's a limited production car. It's it's very special. It is the pinnacle of the C7 Corvette lineup. So, you know, all that considered, I don't think that that price point is necessarily out of question. And, you know, if you take a, a bigger step back and look at the fact that the ZR1 is going to compare to some of the most elite supercars in the world that are going to be twice or three times the price of a ZR1, that's when you really have to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. In a Corvette context, it may not seem like an extreme bargain, but when you you know, still look at the rest of its competitors and the rest of what the automotive industry is pricing that type of performance for, that's when you are able to say, yeah, okay, maybe it is a better value than I initially thought, you know, especially when you, when you compare it to its Corvette siblings, so to speak. But that's actually not the biggest information that I want to share in this video, as huge as that is, and as excited as I am to have, you know, the ZR1 in the book, so to speak, as far as, you know, all the specs, all the pricing, all the, you know, all that information seems to be all but confirmed and, and finished. We can finally stop you know, rumor milling the, uh, the, the C7 ZR1. At just when we thought we were out of the woods with the rumors and all the speculation, some new information has leaked about the C8 mid-engine Corvette. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure you guys understand, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to hype beast you. I'm not trying to say that this information is, is concrete and that you need to base your plans on this. But the reason I'm making this video, especially for those of you getting ready to purchase a uh, C7 ZR1, which, by the way, I, I, I want to definitely mention our buddy Chuck over at Corvettes 918. He will be at the LA Auto Show, you know, live streaming in front of the, the uh, ZR1. One, so definitely check him out and, and make sure that you're subscribed to his channel for the footage that's coming out this Saturday. It's going to have all kinds of content on it. But, you know, many of you may be thinking about purchasing a C7 ZR1, and I think that it's a fantastic car. Like I said, especially when you compare it to its competitors, it is it is a fantastic value. But with this recent information that has leaked, um, which, by the way, I'm going to have links in the description for all of that C7 ZR1 information I just gave you, as well as this information that I'm about to share but we have to look at this before we get our, our uh, money ready to order the C7 ZR1. So it looks like, based on this report, the C8 mid-engine Corvette could actually be much sooner than we expected. And I've already made one video about this, kind of going over why it may be closer than we initially thought. But this is actually a... Uh, a IHS market analysis, which is a forecast for North American motors being produced. And this just spills a whole new level of information that we need to have for the C8 mid-engine Corvette. So basically, it's confirming that the 6.2 liter V8 that we are accustomed to right now in the C7 lineup is going to be continued to be produced through, I believe it's 2000. 21. So that engine is still going to be produced. Um, I, from what I can understand, this document is stating that this, the mid-engine Corvette may actually use that as one of its variants, as well as the C7 front-engine Corvette continue to be produced all the way up until 2021. Who knows if it will go past that? This document doesn't state anything past that point, so that could be the end point for the C7 as we know it. Now, the other more exciting news in this document and, and again, I'm going to share a link in the description, but the Y coding is designated internally for with, within GM as the Corvette coding. The Y1 is, is known as the C7 Corvette. There's a lot of uh, talk about the Y2 in this document. And basically, the Y2 is slated to have a 
two new engine options in addition to that 6.2 liter V8 that we're seeing that's going to continue on for for another couple of years. The Y2, you know, mid-engine Corvette is also supposed to have a 4.2 liter dual overhead cam V8 engine as an option, as well as a 5.5 liter dual overhead cam engine as an option. So these two new options are pretty exciting, especially considering so many people want to see a dual overhead cam engine in the ZR1. Obviously, we, we got the 6.2 liter pushrod V8, which is still a great engine, but I'm really excited to see these dual overhead cam engine options. Options, what they're going to produce, you know, there's there's some numbers in here saying that maximum output capacity could be upwards of 850 horsepower and such. So who knows if they'll if they'll peak the maximum output capacity, but. Even if they don't, you know, we're still talking some huge figures here, especially if the mid-engine Corvette is as heavy or even lighter than, you know, the uh, ZR1, the Z06 of the C7 lineup. But anyway, guys, again, check out these links. There's a lot more information there. It's early in the morning, so I'm, I don't want to butcher all the information and try to give you all of the details. But uh, very interesting here that these three engines will be going, you know, over the next couple of years. They've got everything from how many will be produced, which is going to give us some insight into how it looks like they're going to be leaning off the C7, but we still will be sold alongside of the C8. Um, I think the most, you know, important thing that I'm taking away from this is not only are there going to be two uh, looks like very powerful new engine options that could even be uh, twin turbo is what this report is saying, but you know, the, the, they're starting in 2019 production. So, you know, the C8 mid-engine Corvette could be released as a 2020 model year, you know, w within the next couple of, I don't want to say next couple of months, but over the course of the next year. And I think that's very important for you C7 ZR1 guys to consider. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get a ZR1 because of this, but I'm saying that this information is very important that you kind of weigh your options. Obviously, nothing is confirmed yet. We don't have the pricing details. It could be way more expensive and the ZR1 could be a much better buy. Who knows? I just want to make sure you guys know this is out here. Make sure you check out the links in the description. Go read the full articles. You know, support those websites that had this information first. But, you know, huge news here, guys, and very exciting time. So give the video a like if you enjoyed it. You know, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about this and, and the topic in general. Let's get a good dialogue started and share any information that you guys have that maybe I did not cover in this video. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Cars, Cost, and Tech.